guys welcome back to part two of my military experience so in this video I'm going to be talking about you know going into reception and basic training so the night before I went to you know shipped off to basic training I was put in a hotel and reason being was I because I was temporarily disqualified due to my weight issues I had to go back to MEPS to get weighed in again and make sure everything was okay so the night before I stayed in a hotel and <laughs> I cried my eyes out because, you know, it was me saying farewell to my husband, you know, I was going to be gone for so long, and at the same time, he was getting ready to PCS to Korea. So, you know, in my mind, I'm like, dang, I'm not going to be able to talk to him because he's going to be in Korea, I don't know his phone number, none of this stuff. So, I'm just thinking all these wild thoughts in my mind, I'm like, you know, this is it for the next 10 weeks. So, I cry, I cry, I cry, I go to sleep. Had to be up like 5.30 the next morning. So, I wake up, my eyes is all puffy. It's just like, I'm just thinking now, am I ready to do this? Like, should I just run away and go home? So, I'm a big girl, I toughen up. I go to match, you know, everything is good. I weigh in, you know, 180 pounds, if I remember correctly. So, they say, you know, get ready. Just wait out in the hallway for the van to come. I'm like, van? They gonna put me on a van to go to basic training? So, you know, typically, some people fly, some people take the bus. Nah, me, I'm on a gray van. It's like a six-seater. So, six of us is on the van. So, we stopped at Golden Corral. They gave us a $20 voucher. And when I tell you I ate everything I could, I ate every single thing I could. Like, I ate so much, I thought I was gonna throw up. So, yeah, we went to Golden Corral, got back on the van, went straight to Fort Jackson. So now when we're pulling up in the gate to check an ID, I'm nervous, I'm shaking, I'm like, you know what? I don't want to do this no more. So it's too late now, I'm already here. So we get there and we're at reception. So initially, I didn't know it was reception. I just thought, you know, this is basic training. There's going to be a drill, so I'm just going to pop out of nowhere and just scare the hell out of me. No, I'm wrong. We get there and we end process at a place called 120th. That's what it's called, 120th Reception. So I see a sergeant and like automatically I'm like, oh my god, it's a dress sergeant. Oh my god, don't make eye contact, don't make eye contact. But it wasn't. She was just a 42 alpha just like me. She was in process of that. So she was kind of nice. She was sweet, you know, telling us everything that we need to know. And then all of a sudden... <laughs> Another sergeant came out of nowhere and it was like, and he was like, <laughs> I was like, what's going on? So I just pop up, everybody just stand up all scared and whatever. And we just stand there all shook, like, what's going on? And then it was like, you know, this is the drill sergeant for reception. And he was just like, you know, if you have any of this, if you have any snack, candy, gum, medicine, blah, 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 put it in this trash can right now. Boo, boo, boo. And we just like, what the? the hell so you know everybody's scrambling their bags trying to find anything that you know they said we couldn't have and just throwing it away so after that they were like all right go ahead line back up so we lined back up and it was like all right we gave you a fair warning now we're gonna go through your bags <laughs> they toss our bags out and like checking going through it and then, of course they have to be some individual that's just plain hard-headed had candy chips juice still in that why they do that I'll never know. So, they took them in another room. Who the hell knows what happened to them? But when they came back, they were sweating. So, I can only assume they got smoked. And by smoke, I mean they had to do whatever exercise the drill sergeant felt suitable for them. At extreme measures. So, that was that. So then, I was like, alright, pack your bags up and go outside. So we pack our bags up and go outside. And they tell us to line up in the formation. My very first formation. So, a formation is where basically you're lined up, you know, in rows, columns, whatever you want to call them, and you're standing at, you know, attention. Basically, stand up straight, you know, your hands on your side, your thumbs at your seams or your pants, and eyes straight forward. So, they tell us to take our shoes and socks off. So, I'm like, what is going on? So, do as I'm told, I take my shoes and my socks off. And then they, they file us out, you know, one by one to step up on this light machine. So on this light machine, you know, they, they take a print of your feet. And this was basically to see whether you were flat footed, if you, if you had an arch, whatever. So, you know, they can see what kind of PT shoes you get. So it all made sense in the end. So we got our PT shoes. I'm looking at my iPad because basic training was all over the place, so I had to take some notes. So, yeah. So after they checked our feet for the PT shoes, they give us, they tell us, you know, where we're going to be staying at. Men can't go to girls' bay, girls can't go to men's bay, you know, setting all the ground rules. So 
we go to the female bay and it's like a jungle like a zoo full of females like it was so many females i was like i hope i don't have to live like this for the next 10 weeks so right off the bat females already arguing people stealing stuff and i'm just sitting there like what did i sign up for it was it was crazy. So in my mind, when I first got there, I was like, you know what? I'm not here to make friends. This is going to be my job. I'm going to do what I have to do. No, wrong. In the Army, you must have a battle buddy. A battle buddy consists of, if you're a female, it has to be another female with you. It can be in groups of two, threes, fours. If you're with a male, it has to be at least two males or another female. Basically, it cannot be you and a male by itself. But if you're with another female, that's okay. If you're with more than one female, that's okay. But you have to have somebody with you at all times. So you automatically going to make friends even if you don't want to. So, yeah, you can't go nowhere in basic training, AIT, reception. You can't go nowhere without a battle buddy. And, like, they really have to drill that into us because, you know, coming in, you're all you're self-absorbed, you're antisocial, you don't want to make friends. If you're not that kind of person like me, I'm antisocial, I don't want to make friends. So, I'm like, battle buddy. So, I'm looking at these girls like, well, who, who can I befriend? And they all was crazy. <laughs> so, you know, eventually, you know, I kind of clicked with some girls and it's just what it was. You know, you find somebody that you hope won't get you in trouble and you won't get them in trouble. So, that's what it was. So, the very first day of reception, you get your PT clothes. Next day, you get your ID made. And my ID, I look like I'm murdered everybody in the world like I look like a mass murderer on my ID like it looked like I was crying I don't know it was just an ugly mugshot and I was just like this picture is ugly so got my ID made and then you get issued your uniform and reception was pretty much just hurry up and wait you woke up early you went to bed late it was just like every day was something different now reception defect lines defect is when you go eat chow when you go eat your breakfast lunch or dinner and at reception, it was so many people because there's an end process in place. Like, you literally had to wait outside. They snake lines where you can go inside. And by the time you get in, like, you had, like, two minutes to eat. And it was just, like, crazy. So I dealt with that for seven whole days. Reception was a week for me. And for some, they, you know, they were, had to be stayed back because either they had some health issues or they just didn't qualify at the time to go to basic training. Because, like I said, it's a long process of get this issued, financial issues, health issues, like you basically have to end process in every section health wise as well. Like I went to reception for, for vision again and when I went for vision, they was like, okay, read this line. And I was like, I can't. And they was like, all right, next. And I was like, I'm supposed to be getting glasses. So they didn't say nothing. It was like, next. I was like, okay. So maybe I won't be getting glasses with base training. In the end, that kind of hurt me, but it was, it is what it was, and I guess because it was so many people, they didn't want to just, you know, spend so much time on one soldier, I really don't know, maybe the guy doing vision was having a bad day, but anyway, that's what it was, so you got more shots, like you got so many shots, I swear I lost count, from base training to reception, it was so many shots, I don't even know what they were for, so yeah. And at reception, you were given the Soldier's Creed and three general orders, which you had to learn in two freaking days. And if you did not know it, like if they called you on the spot and you did not know it, you were doing push-ups until they felt like it was time for you to get up. So me, I was on it. Learned it before I got to, to basic training. So, you know, I was one step ahead of everybody else that didn't learn it before they left. So... It was those damn general orders. Like, I still don't know them to this day. Like, I learned them enough to get by reception and basic training, but now it's out of my mind. Don't use it, you will lose it. So, yeah. So, also, you know, it was times in reception where girls were just, like, they were so petty. And because they were so petty and there were so many arguments, we had this little short drill sergeant. Like, she was like a spark of fire. Like, when she came, you know, it was time to get smoked. Like, she made us do push-ups because girls were arguing about not wanting to put gloves on. And everything in the Army is uniform. So, like, if one person want to wear gloves in formation, nobody wear gloves in formation. Like, everybody has to look the same. And they harp on that big in reception. So, that's where a lot of the arguments came from. Some people were cold, some people were hot. It was February. Everybody should have been cold, but, of course, we have individuals. So, that was a big problem at reception. So, yep. Yeah. 
seven days in processing, getting uniform, getting gear, long lines for food, and it's time to ship off to basic training.